Thank you for joining us in this Novena to St. Francis of Assisi. Day 3. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Poor and humble St. Francis, through your kind intercession, we seek to love God above all things. We seek the faith, hope, and love that moved you to joyfully renounce honors and riches and to radically follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for us that we come to see the privilege of suffering with and for the poor after the example of Jesus. Help us to be always grateful for all the blessings we have received and give us the strength to overcome our most pressing concerns. Include your personal intentions now. Dear brothers and sisters, we are on the third day of our Novena to St. Francis of Assisi. And the theme for today's reflection is the spirit of prayer and devotion. St. Francis is one of the most famous saints in the history of the Catholic Church and he continues to inspire thousands of faithful as well as people from different faith. He is remembered not on account of the great achievements he made but for his intense desire to love God above all. Nevertheless, what makes him a special kind of saint is the way he creatively sought to love God and the manifestation of his intense love for God is the gift of stigmata which he received during his life. One of the basic questions which pops in our mind is how did Francis love God creatively? The foundation of the love of St. Francis was based on the twofold spirit of prayer and devotion. For him, prayer and devotion were the only way by which he could know God's will in his life and to love him without any reservation. One of the most cherished prayer St. Francis prayed to know the will of God was the prayer before the crucifix where he implores God, saying, Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart, and give me, Lord, a correct faith, a certain hope, and a perfect love. St. Francis was a man of prayer. He prayed unceasingly by reciting the Psalms and singing the hymns. He also urges his brothers to pray continuously, emphasizing on the celebration of the divine office and the manner of fasting. In the letter to the entire order, he writes, let the brothers pray the divine office with devotion, not merely concentrating on the melody of the voice, but on the harmony of the mind. For harmony of the mind leads to the purity of heart than melody, which only charms the ears. For Francis, prayer also meant an offering of unceasing praises to God, as he understood the presence of divine in and through the nature. Therefore, he could simply take the sticks and make out of it a musical instrument, or he could simply burst forth in elation as he looked around the marvelous creation of God. The canticle of creature is the perfect example of the unceasing praises of God's work, where St. Francis joins with the elements of nature and sings aloud in a loud voice. Praise be to you, my Lord, for brother sun and sister moon, for brother fire and sister water. Another major characteristic of St. Francis's way of loving God was his great devotion towards the Holy Eucharist. St. Francis revered the Holy Eucharist above everything and considered it 
as a real presence of God. He speaks to the brothers in the following words. Therefore, kissing your feet and with all that love of which I am capable, I implore all of you brothers to show all possible reverence and honor to the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. These are some of the examples that lead us to the radical understanding of the spirit of prayer and devotion in the life of St. Francis. For according to him, they are the way to love God. And the most amazing thing about St. Francis is that his understanding of prayer and devotion was simple, yet with the most profundity and creativity did he uphold and cherished it in his life. Dear brothers and sisters, Today, we need to reflect upon our life of prayer and devotions in our everyday life. Sometimes, we lack the radicality of prayer because we are bogged down by the complexities of life. We are worried about our future. We are in tension with regard to our family and the workplaces and so on. Today, St. Francis is inviting us to have a simple way of praying but with a profound spirit where we are able to open our hearts to the loving God and say, Most High, Glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me faith, hope and a perfect love. Glorious Saint Francis, you acted as a peacemaker even in the face of extreme physical danger. Through your prayers, may we also be graced with the desire to find peaceful resolutions to the problems that plague us, even in the most trying of times. As an offering to our loving God, I resolve to forgive all the wrongs I have suffered from others. St. Francis, help us to continue praying for the grace to truly repent and change our hearts by actively seeking reconciliation with God and all those we have offended or hurt in any way. May the blessings we receive through your intercession deepen our faith and inspire us to store up treasures in heaven where we hope to spend eternity with our loving God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.